his briefcase and he's got rocks in his head, or his head is a rock. Sort of reminds me of me. Notice how many clothes I have on. It's a little chill here in Reykjavik. It's as warm as it's been since we got here. The sun came out. It's about freezing and the wind is blowing about 70 miles an hour. So it's actually died down quite a bit since we got here. It died down quite a bit over the last few days. Just came from cafe where we had lunch with three men, middle age, with children. They accept everything I say about climate change and even abrupt climate change, except the timeline. Except that, I, and they say they're not afraid. They have children, but they're not afraid on behalf of their children. It's just the timeline. And so I asked them repeatedly, what are we gonna eat when there's no food? What are we gonna eat? Well, um, greenhouses, well, um, yeah, I agree, but timeline, over and over again, this is the sort of thing that drives me crazy, is the people who, who, are, who willingly accept the notion of anthropogenic climate change, but abrupt climate change is just a step too far. So, we're a step too far.